I've noticed no one has thought to write a national anthem for our great nation of Chronopolis. I'm fired up and ready to take you through on another one of my special missions. This one's going to take you way back to the Old West. <laughs> Bad guys' faces swollen, keep them pink pricks rolling, Gwenpool! Rawhide Kid and his longtime brother-in-arms, Red Wolf, have received news that an old foe is back in town. The Living Toto. <laughs> Our heroes head into town. Spurred on by the townsfolk, they are steered to the saloon. Come on, you varmints! That was two cowboy puns right there! Inside the saloon, our boys find the living totem hard at work. Completing a death ray? Forging a metal army? No. Rehearsing in his one alien show. Humans are mean and should just be conquered already. Dinner theater? Will these villains stop at nothing? How exactly do you go about defeating a giant, indestructible alien totem pole? I'm not going to be much help as I haven't read this stuff. Lucky for you youngins, the kid and Red Wolf's gonna learn us how. This town ain't big enough for the three of them. Yeehaw! All right. This darn totem has got to be around here somewhere. Look, Rawhide. Over there. Put him up, totem. You ain't fooling no one around these parts. Well, that's one suspect down, I guess. No way Living Totem would have gone down that easy. I hope we don't have to pay for that damage. Don't worry about it, Wolfie. Word travels fast, and that mm. word is that you don't mess with the rawhide kid. Mighty clever of you putting that decoy over there. 
I challenge you to a quick draw. Your move, creep. Are you serious? Careful now, Rawhide. You don't want to get a splinter. Look out! It's heading right for us. Listen, buddy, I don't know how you escape, but you need to get back in that hole you crawled out of, or you'll have us to deal with. Nothing to say, huh? Ain't nobody buying this statue act of yours, least of all me. I know who you are. Uh, Stride? Hot down, Wolfie. I know what I'm doing here. I believe this may be a... I think I saw it move. Stand back! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your entertainment for tonight, performing its very own one totem stage show, the one, the only, please put your hands together for the living totem. I wandered lonely as a totem pole that crashed, was lost, and then, was set upon by raging beasts, the horrid race of men. And now, I must ask you, to tem or not to tem? That is the question. Shouldn't have come back here, Totem. Your evil doing days are at an end. Who dares interrupt my performance? Why can't you just leave me alone? Rawhide, look! It's working. He's slipping on the water. Uh, yeah! We've got you now, Totem. You cannot stop theater. You got him to slip up on water? That's it? Jeez, some bad dude, huh? No wonder he's not up there with the big villains like Kang and Thanos. Turns out this poor sap never wanted to be on Earth anyway. He crash landed here in the Old West, and the first people he met buried him underground. Typical, huh? All he really wants is to get home, and the theater group was just a way of him raising money to build a spaceship. Hmm, not sure he'd have raised that much cash on stage. His acting is a bit wooden. <laughs> get it? I made a bunny. Red Wolf suggests that maybe Totem can hitch a ride with some other friendly space travelers. He won't have to look far to find some, what with things being so messed up around here. Can't seem to throw a rock right now and not hit an alien. Heck, the Guardians of the Galaxy would take him. They've already got Groot, so they're no strangers to wooden space dudes. Hasta luego!
looked like something big was going down on top of the Avengers mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that massive face that appeared in the sky? 